seem like anything went really smoothly. Was, were there reasons for that? Um, I don't know. Uh, I mean, if you look at the stat sheet right here, it shows that they had 20 turnovers and we had 12. I mean, when teams are playing aggressive defense like that, I mean, things do get a little sloppy. Um, if you're not making, I think the first thing coach said when she walked in the locker room is it's about time our defense had to carry us through a game and not rely on our offense. And so when you miss a few shots and lose our like missed offensive rebounds and I don't know, it just gets a little out of hand. <laughs> um. And what were some of the factors involved in just getting control of that game? As much as it would, didn't look that great, you were always in control of the game. Um, I think we just needed to, our defense, I mean, really helped. I mean, we, um, holy, I can't even talk right now. Uh, we got a lot of stops, and we knew they, they were going to rail drive a lot, and that's what they wanted, or to the kick, and I think we just took care of that. And on the offensive end, we just knew we had to move the ball and look for open people and take good shots, even though if they didn't go in, you got to just keep shooting and hopefully they'll go in the next time. Mm -hmm. um, Duff, uh, is it you can look forward to the SDC game now, right? Yeah, that's definitely one that, I mean, anyone from South Dakota knows that that is a, that's a big game, but that was something that we definitely focused on coming into this one, was that this was the one, you know, at hand and this was the one we needed to take care of. And now that we did, now it is time to look at, you know, those people up north. You know, I think today I, there are there are times that we do try new things. Um, I think today we definitely were were working on us, and they stayed in a zone for basically the whole time. So it was a good opportunity for us to you know work on different zone offenses. So that was something we really did focus on. Um, but yeah, I think the you know we just took it kind of possession by possession, and we're still yeah trying to just make ourselves better. So this is a question any of you can answer. Um, coming out of halftime, did you anticipate how aggressive they were going to be in the third quarter? Hmm. <laughs> um, I think we knew at halftime. Coach came in and said we have to be prepared, be um, on guard, be ready to defend them because they were going to come out and play hard, and that's exactly what they did. I think right away they had, I think first half they had like four or five offensive rebounds and then like the third quarter they had like nine. So they did come out and play really hard on us and we tried to stick with them, I guess. <laughs> We're in that. But. Well, I thought our young ladies came out and really defended well through most of the entire game and uh, really started strong and that gave us some opportunities to get out in transition and make some things happen on the offensive end kind of gave us got us into some offensive rhythm you know in the second half I thought Omaha did a really nice job of of really driving it aggressively getting some shots up and then having us out of position to rebound and did a really good job on the offensive glass and that's an area where we have to continue to grow and get better we need to be a better rebounding team in those scenarios but I thought Omaha played really really hard and came out and in, in the second half and really took advantage of some of those situations and gives us an opportunity to go back and learn from it. Well, I thought Omaha's. I thought Omaha's zone. We had some good opportunities early. You know, didn't make some of those shots, but got some offensive rebounds and then um, kicked it out. So I th it made some good things happen. Kept some possessions alive. And then, you know, really, I thought they made some adjustments where they made some, took away some of the same looks that we got earlier. And then we had to make a different read, and we might not have adjusted to it as well as we wanted to. But I thought during the course of the game, our, our young ladies continued to move differently, make some different reads. And, and get some good looks, get some good looks offensively. Um, we didn't, it's interesting, we didn't shoot it particularly well, but we scored at a 44% clip and shot at a 35% clip. So we didn't shoot it poorly, but we're used to shooting it a little bit better and scoring a little bit more efficiently. So an area that we can look at, can we get to the free throw line a few more times, some of those things. Yeah, 
Yeah, that'll be a great environment, great atmosphere. Certainly was last year at their place, felt like it was here. So, you know, right now, obviously, South Dakota State's playing very, very good basketball. And um, it, it will be, you know, certainly a, a great opportunity for us to continue to play in, in tough venues and continue to get better, because that's really what this time of the season's all about. Yeah, had, she's been battling with some injuries and has played through the last couple of games. A really, really tough kid, um, but really just couldn't physically go. Not because she didn't want to, she just couldn't do it. So hoping that we can get her back in the near future.